It is with distinguished pleasure that I send greetings to excellencies of the distinguished participant and special guests at this ninth Tamil Conference and Global Economic Summit 2023. I am deeply sorry that I am unable to be with you in beautiful Dubai for this important event, but I send my best wishes for another successful outcome. Again, I send warm congratulations to a distinguished founder president, Dr. V.R.S. Sampat, and conference chairman, Mr. Abid Junaid, together with their team for their hard work over several months to organize and solicit support for this event. Well done. Congratulations to all of you. I notice among the distinguished special guests, not only the Honorable Durai Murugan, the energetic and the indefatigable minister in the Tamil Nadu government, and his distinguished ministerial colleagues, but my dear friends, among whom are His Excellency Dr. Pile Vaipuri, former Vice President of Mauritius, Members of Parliament, Dr. S. Jagatraksha Gan and Dr. Kalnandithi Virasani, Dr. Quilani Periasani, Dr. G. Vishwanathan, and Dr. V.G. Santosham. It is a great relief that you are meeting after the protracted lockdowns caused by COVID-19, which hopefully is behind us, but it is nevertheless a challenging time for investment resulting from a slowdown of global economic development, the Russia with Ukraine, NATO USA reckon war, consequential sanctions and disruption of the supply chain, dangerous tensions in the South China seas, humanitarian crises in Turkey, Syria, and displacement of peoples in several Afro-Asian countries. The ravages, ruination, damage and loss being inflicted by the climate catastrophe have not abated, but mutated into what has been described in North America as snow bombs and winter hurricanes. As I noticed at the last conference, our business sector should look inwards at South-South cooperation and collaboration. New markets are opening and bountiful opportunities exist in places such as my own country, Guyana, which has an open door to foreign investments. Tamil investors are encouraged to get on board. Get on board in Guyana. It is worth it. As I said in 2021, the window of opportunities for investment in the world has certainly become narrow, but it is not closed. With innovation and determination, you certainly can continue to expand at home and abroad. I hope that the distinguished talent participants from various parts of the globe would share during the cultural interludes the internationally acclaimed Natu Natu ethnic bonds that bind us all. I wish you all the best for success in your business ventures and prosperity in your personal life. Thank you. Wanaklam Nandri.